Hi there, are you stuck on some settings with HomeKit Secure Video, want to know how to use it, or just to get a general understanding? Then continue to check out this video for the complete guide. Hi, welcome back. And my name is John from HomeKit Authority. If you're new around here, this is a channel dedicated to HomeKit news reviews and tutorials. So if you're not already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. So HomeKit Secure Video is one of Apple's latest features for HomeKit. What it effectively does, it captures the video and audio from your HomeKit enabled cameras analyzes them and encrypts them and stores them in the cloud. So HomeKit Secure Video first arrived on the Logitech Circle 2 and it's now on the Netimo indoor smart camera. So when you first set up, there's various different settings that you need to go through in order to get the most out of this. And these can be sometimes a little bit confusing to a new user. So this video is split up into two parts. First of all, I'm going to show you how to set up HomeKit Secure Video and how to change those settings and how to get the best out of it. And the second part of the video is to show you how to use the HomeKit Secure timeline, explaining all the different settings and also show you how to save, delete and share the recorded video. So let's get into this video now. So the first one we're going to touch on is how to enable HomeKit Secure Video Recordings. Now, when you first connect your camera to HomeKit and HomeKit Secure Video, the cameras are set to stream only when they're first set up. Now, people might see this as inconvenience, but by design, this is Apple's protecting your privacy. So you need to set up the cameras to your preferences. So to do this, first of all, you open the Home app and you scroll down to the camera that you want to set up. And in my case, it's the indoor camera we're gonna have a look at here. And you go to the cogwheel at the top, which is the settings. You then scroll down to stream and recording options. And you can see here, when home and when away are both set to stream. Now, quickly explain what these are. When home is when people within your home kit home are at home. Uh, similar, when people are away, when all people have gone, that's the settings. So if you click on when home, you can see you've got another set of options. You've got off, so the camera's completely off. Then you've got detect activity. So this won't stream or record, but it'll still detect activity. So you'll be able to use it in automations. Then you've got stream, which is the default setting. So people invited to home can view the camera's live stream. And you've also got stream and allow recording. So for when people are at home, I'm gonna set it to off for privacy and then when people are away i'm going to set it to stream and allow recording these settings give me the maximum privacy in order to have the most out of the cameras but also not record people when they're at home so next up is recording options and this one gives you various different options to how you want the camera to record so again i'm going to show you how to set that up and how to get the best out of the settings so again you get your ios device you go to the camera that you want to change and then you click the cogwheel again and under when away you've got this recording options in here you've got record when any motion is detected or when specific motion is detected you've got people animals or vehicles and you can toggle these on or off depending on what you want it to do now if when specific motion is detected it will only do this it detects these particular things and it's pretty good at doing that if you want to be more security conscious you can put any motions detected and it will then record at any motion that has been detected please note if this is an outdoor camera and if it's raining then it will sometimes trigger the uh, recording you've also got the option as well to record audio or not and you can just toggle that on or off uh, so these settings are really important to set them up right especially if you want to be specific about what you want it to record or you want it to blanketly record any motion and that is again down to personal preference but that's how you change those settings now next up is notifications what i'm going to do now is show you how to get to those settings but also talk you through how to set them up so you're not inundated with a load of notifications when you first set up HomeKit Secure Video. So again, open the Home app and scroll to the camera that you want to use to notifications. Right, so you click on the cogwheel and scroll down to notifications. As you can see here, you've got allow snapshots and notifications. So this will send you a snapshot to anyone that's connected to the HomeKit home and it will be a snapshot with an image of what the activity has been detected. 
You also can show status change notifications. So if the camera changes from streaming, it will also send a notification to people within a home. Now you've also got activity notifications. So you can customize them even more to say, receive notifications when, anytime. Now you can set them up so you can any time during the day, at night, or specific times. That again is down to your personal preference when somebody is home or when nobody's at home. You also can set these, and I find this is the most powerful setting, any motion detected or clip is recorded. So in this case, I've selected when a clip is recorded because my settings are specific motion. So then I'm not getting loads of notifications through the device for everything that it detects. So these settings are really powerful and you can have a play around these to get the best out of them. Now, one tip is that you have to do it on each camera within your home kit home in order to set them up for individual ones. I think this is really good that you can have a more stricter camera say outside and a less stricter camera inside. Now, the final one I wanna show you within the settings within HomeKit Secure Video is how to turn on the night vision and the camera status light on or off. Again, get your iOS device and open the OMAP and scroll to the camera that you want to use. Click on the settings cogwheel and scroll right down to the bottom. And you can see here you've got camera status light and you can toggle that on or off. And you also can toggle the night vision light on or off. So that's all the settings and how to set up HomeKit Secure Video. Let's now jump into how to use the HomeKit timeline and all of the other things you can do with this feature. So let's first of all look at the HomeKit timeline and what all the different controls do. First of all, you open the OMAP and you go to the room the camera's assigned and click on the camera. Here you've been greeted with this screen and we'll go around the various different controls. Here you have the settings and this takes you into the settings that I've already shown you. And then this one is where you can select all the different cameras that when you're at home kit home. The next one is the volume control. So the volume of the video clip that's been recorded. You also can mute as well. In this bottom corner, you have a share button, which allows you to share the image or delete or various different other things. The control here allows you to look at all the accessories in that room. You've also got this button here, which is live. And that one will take you to the live view. Now in my case, the camera's off because I'm at home based on my settings I've set up. Now, if you click on the event timeline here at the bottom, this will then show you all the different recordings that have been recorded and it will allow you to scroll through and view them. When you do that at the top, it will activate this top bar, which is the date. This allows you to scroll through various different dates that things have been recorded. Uh, so now you're familiar with the HomeKit timeline, let's now look at what you can do with that timeline. If you find a clip that you want to share, for instance, you can click the share tab and you can click next. That will open up the share sheet where you can do various different things. So you can share it with common people that you've text or the various different apps that you've got set up. You also can save the video to your timeline. You can also add it to a shared album and you also can save it to files. Now, if you want to delete an individual video clip, you also can do that as well. Again, it involves clicking the share tab and then simply clicking the delete button. Now you can delete that. And then once it's deleted, it's gone. I just wanna point something out with this. Once you've deleted a video, it has gone forever. There's no way to get it back. Now, although I've just shown you how to delete a video within HomeKit Secure Video, you may want to delete all of your recordings. Now, again, if you do this, it will delete them forever. So they are gone and you can't get them back. And you also have to do this for each and an individual camera that you want to delete all of the recordings. So what you need to do is get your iOS device, open the camera and click settings. You then scroll down to recording options and it will bring up this option erase the camera's recordings you click that and it says are you sure you want to erase all recordings for this camera and then you simply click erase this camera's recordings so that's it this is the end of the video hopefully it's been useful and it's given you a good understanding of how to set up and use homekit secure video if you've got any questions then leave them below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video as well as it really helps us out Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.